What's up, everybody? Tall boy with short pants here, coming with you something, coming at you with something new. Um, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a T-shirt design, and you know this is one of my ways of kind of expanding the arts instead of just drawing on paper or whatever. I'm gonna expand, and I finally got the new tool, Photoshop. Don't ask me how I got it, but um, yeah, I, I got, I finally got Photoshop. Uh, let's go on with this tutorial. All right. First thing, I drew a picture of a clown straight out of my head. I got my idea. That's what you want. You want your idea. Uh, after you get that, you want to get a scanner or take a really good picture of whatever you're drawing and then put it on the computer. Once you get that file on the computer, all you got to do is just, once you have Photoshop, get that picture with Photoshop kind of closed and then drag it to the bottom where the Photoshop symbol is and then Photoshop should pop up. I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. Photoshop should pop up and then just drop it in the in Photoshop when it opens. And then you should have your picture. Or you can just go to open and then just open that picture from uh, go to file, open, open the picture, and it should open up as your background layer. And you want to make a second layer, which the layer I'm doing right now is called the sketch layer. I, I didn't name it. I'm sorry. I didn't name it. Layer 1 is just the layer I kind of just decided to just, all right, get the pencil, get the paint tool, get, uh, you see that little swirly thing on the side? That's the paint tool that I decided to use. Put it on 8 for the outer outlines and then put on 4 for the inner, inner outlines. Or it might not be 8. It might be a bigger size. I think it was 12. I'm not sure. But basically, you just come up with your own thing. I can't give you the specifics. This is you, I want you to make your own ideas, not just you know copy. You can if you want, but how's that gonna help you? It sure didn't help me. So uh, now I'm gonna finally do what I should be doing and make up my own stuff. And anyway, uh, every now and then you want to take out the bottom layer so we can see all the mistakes. And I, sh I probably should have made the layer pure white at certain times but I didn't and uh, oh well I'm sorry but this was my first time using Photoshop I'm kinda getting used to it so you know bear with me on that part but anyway uh, everything I did was on separate layers okay I had a layer that was made specifically for the lips a layer specifically for the teeth a layer specifically for the eyes the skin the hair so on and so forth so uh, yeah, you wanna ba you wanna put the layers. Oh, see, you just met, you just saw something very important. See how the eye when I took out the skin layer, you can see all the mistakes I did on the bottom of the skin. That's why you wanna put it in different. You wanna put it in layers so that way you can make it and uh, manipulate it the way you want, so it can look professional in the end. And uh, kind of going over it, making it perfect. You know, I want it nice, crisp, and easy. And the the lips the lips notice how the lips were kind of light before all I did was I right clicked on the lip layer and I kind of just tweaked it from there I, I I didn't know what I was doing I made it up as I went but I feel that this tutorial will help you like kind of like give you an idea of what I did so that way when you guys go out there on your own do your own thing you can kind of like oh hey I remember when, when Bill said that you know whatever yeah I, I, don't, I don't know I'm trying but um, I'm kind of adding highlights to the to the lips and this right here I this was a fail so I kind of decided later on I decide okay this looks ugly I'm gonna go over the eyes again and redo it so yeah I'm just, I'm just warning you ahead of time but uh, what I just said rewind watch watch how I'm arranging the layers watch how I'm using the paints and everything I know it's kind of fast but this should give you a good idea because this it gave me a, an idea that's how I first started out and everything but uh, ignore that that's kind of Facebook you know whatever so uh, yeah anyway when you go over everything that you draw and stuff after you're done we're gonna put this on a t-shirt and I'm kind of just fixing up everything uh, you know just da -de -da -de -da -de -da, whatever but I, I said everything that that's pretty important and just watch the video over get your idea and I hope you guys succeed from there
But anyway, for the rest of the time, I want to talk to you guys about why I do stuff like this. Why I draw characters out. You know, why I'm doing different things. Notice how you watch a lot of YouTube artists, what do they do? Every video, how to draw Super Saiyan Goku. Next video, how to draw Super Saiyan 2 Goku. You're not getting anywhere with that. You're talented, but you're not getting anywhere. You're, 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 you're staying on a path that, you know, you're basically just following the guy that made the cartoon. When you could be a guy that makes your own cartoon. And I'm trying to teach my audience that, or whoever watches this, this is my ultimate goal of being tall boy with short pants. It's to help, pe help people out there who have talent to come up with their own stuff. Because I was in that trance for a while. I was copying other arts. And I still do every now and then. I'm not saying, oh, you can't, you gotta stop that. But when you wanna succeed, do stuff like this. Do stuff like this, vi I'm, this video I'm doing right now. I came up with it. it it's completely original. And, uh,. I heard it was a good point. Pinoy Shot kind of uh, told me, is it, like, is you gotta, we gotta expand as artists or whatever your talent is. Don't try to copy someone. And even if the thing you came up with isn't the best, like I'm not saying this clown is the best, but I came up with it and I'm proud because I came up, I came up with the idea, and now I'm showing the world what I'm doing. And that's what you guys gotta do when you go out there in that world. Be the entrepreneur. Whatever that means. I don't know what that means, but yeah. Uh, just do do the best you can in everything you do. I really... Th these videos aren't made to show off. They're made to help the crowd out. That's that's my main, my main goal. Yeah. So, bless all you guys out there. I hope this tutorial helped. Well, semi-tutorial. I hope it helped it a little bit. But, uh, good luck out there, alright? That's it. Tall boy, short pants, out. All right, now that we got the drawing done, we can move on to the blueprint. So first thing you want to do is open up your t-shirt template, PSD file. We're using Photoshop. You should know that by now. And let me take this off because I already did it earlier, but I want to show you um, step by step on how I did it. Uh, this is the PSD file that we use to draw the clown. Okay, after we did the clown, your own design. This is the clown is just an example. I want to show you an example of what what to use when uh, making your shirt design. But uh, this is the project that we used. Move it down here, and then make sure. Ah, uh, I should have clicked on base, uh, the base layer, right here. Make sure you have that highlighted and get out of that real quick and put the clown project there just drop it right on top and then you have this little thing that you can edit whatever how you however you want it to look and to do that to bring it to proportion to the shirt just drag the edges the little dots on the side whatever and then you can just move it the way you want it to look Okay, let me fix this up real quick. I'm almost done. And then, boom, that's it. And to place the file, just click somewhere. Click one of those tools on the side that the mouse is at right now. Just click that, place the file, hit place, and then, boom, you got your t-shirt design. That's an example of how you want your shirt to look. Um, by the way, I don't know how to give it that realistic effect. I'm not a pro at this. This is my first time trying this, but since I'm figuring it out I want you guys to figure it out with me so uh, that's really it to save the image you wanna hit uh, save as instead of Photoshop hit it as BMP JPEG or PNG like something where you can kinda open it on your own I'm gonna save it as JPG um, on my desktop save that mess maximum Get out of this. No, I don't need to save it. And boom, that's how you're that's your uh basic t-shirt design. And I'm gonna show that to the company on how I want it to look, and that's that's just about it. Let's move on to the shirt printing process.